This week, I want to try something different with you because it's all a new year, new me and all that. And I want to share with you a journey I've been on since the start of December. I'm into improving all aspects of my life. And after two years of new kids and not going out anywhere and being worked to the bone by the NHS, I need to lose a bit of weight. I used to be pretty healthy and the past two years have probably hit a lot of people really hard. So I needed to get my weight back on track and for some reason I chose December, the most food filled month of the year to try and lose a bit of weight. But at the same time, I'm always chasing a bit of cash. I'm trying to monetize pretty much everything I do these days. So I tried to monetize my weight loss with an app called Diet Bet. This isn't sponsored by them. This is something that I do quite often, actually. I've used this app quite a few times. But every time I try to explain the app to someone, now I'm always met with looks of disgust or disbelief that this app even exists. So here I am to share it with you because it's quite a big part of my life, to be honest. Diet Bet is an app where you join up with thousands of people around the world to collectively lose weight together. Everyone pulls a little bit of money into one big pot and decides that they're going to lose 4% of their body weight in the next month. You log your starting weight through a weird and convoluted process that's designed to keep everything fair and stop cheating. And by the end of the month, if you've met your weight loss goal, you earn a little bit of the pot. Minus 25% that Diabet takes. It's a great way for me to kickstart weight loss with a little bit of a monetary cow prod. <laughs> so once the first weigh-in is done, the hard part starts and you've got to get to eating well and exercising properly. And for that, I think we're going to need a montage. So during December, I changed my eating habits to a largely low carb, high protein diet, which just suits me better. It's different for other people. And I even got a bit of help from Tattooed Chef. There you go. It's not disgusting, but it would be better with chicken, I think. I also used Huel for the first time, which isn't as bad as I thought it was. The Thai green curry is disgusting, but the sweet and sour and the Mexican are actually really good. And when it comes to exercise, no, I didn't go around lifting my kids all the time. I also would not waste money on a gym. I'd rather buy stocks, but I would use old Beachbody workouts and YouTube. I fully believe YouTube is the next big thing in home fitness. Not Peloton, not Beachbody, not even Lululemon, but it's channels like Caroline Gervin, I think that's right, Heather Robinson and Pamela Reef, who all have really tough workouts that you can use anywhere for free. And drum roll for results. I spent $300 on three games. You don't have to put $100 in. There are a lot of games for like $30, but I always find that those $100 ones just give me a bit more motivation. And of course I won. I lost the weight. I feel pretty good now. But in game one, I won $25. In game two, I won $41 plus a free Amazon voucher, which I'm waiting on. But in the third game, I only earned 95 cents. I guess a lot of people in that game won a lot and sometimes it doesn't end up like that. That's actually the lowest amount I've ever earned from Diet Bet, I must admit. And I've been doing this about three years now. In total, I finished up with $368.73. That's a 23.4% return. That's almost as good as the S&P 500 and far better than the 14% of the FTSE 100. The only trouble with this form of winnings and weight loss is that it's not sustainable. Sustainable. Eventually you're going to run out of body fat or you're going to find it harder and harder to lose the weight. And weight loss and healthy eating and exercise should be seen as a sustainable thing to do. I think anyone in the fitness industry would probably agree that diabetes is something that encourages yo-yo dieting. It's not something for the long term. But for some of us like me, the weight is like the stock market. It goes up and down all the time and it's largely uncontrollable because we haven't got good control of our emotions. I'm so broken. I feel pretty good, but I ended up just having my Christmas day a couple of days later. So I've put a little bit of it back on and I'm gonna go back into the Kickstarter again. I've got so much more weight to shift. So I'll be having another go on January 15th and I've started up my own mini game for the Discord. It's a cheap one and if anyone wants to join me on an investing slash weight loss journey over the next month, feel free to look in the description below. There should be a link there or if you're in the Discord, I will have put it in the wellness section. And for a little incentive, the first five people that sign up get a five pound Amazon gift voucher emailed to them or something. Thank you very much for watching this slightly different video this week. I'm off to go work out. <laughs>